Hi, I'm Roxy Lang. Welcome to Children's Church on Monday, November 9th, 2020. And it was rainy today. It was a cold, cold, chilly day, wasn't it? Getting closer and closer to winter time where it's going to start to snow in Minnesota here. So I hope you had a wonderful day, enjoying the day, probably inside. But if you went outside, you probably might have had an umbrella with you. But you certainly were wrapped up a little bit in warm clothes. So thank you for joining me. And today, our story is continuing about God and the world that he is making around us and just more stories from the Bible. It's called God Fills the World. And we're going to do something a little different today, a little fun. We're going to play a little game. So we'll sing our songs. We'll say a little prayer and get into our story. So Father in heaven, we just thank you, Father God. We thank you for all that you've given us. We thank you for the joy that you place in our hearts, Father God. And this is the day that you have given us. We praise and thank your holy name. We praise you and thank you and just sing praises to you, Father God, in Jesus' name for all that you've done. And Father, we just continue to pray for our world and for the people to turn their hearts to you, Father God, in Jesus' name and help us to follow you and to serve you, Father God. And we receive your blessings, whatever blessings you have for us, Father God. We just take them and receive them in Jesus' name. Amen. So the first song we'll sing today is, The wise man built his house upon the rock, and one built his house upon the, the sand. And uh, the one who builds his house on the rock, solid, firm foundation, is the one who builds his house on the Lord Jesus Christ, who gives us a solid foundation of faith and to stand and to move forward with the Lord in Jesus name. So Father God, we just sing this song to you. The wise man built his house upon the rock, house upon the rock, house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock and the rains came tumbling down. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up and the house on the rock stood firm. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand and the rains came tumbling down. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up and the house on the sand fell flat. So build your life on the Lord Jesus Christ. So build your life on the Lord Jesus Christ. Build your life on the Lord Jesus Christ. And your life in the Lord stands firm. So when we build our life on the Lord, getting to know the Lord and reading his word and getting close to him and having him come into our lives, our lives become firm, firm and strong and become faithful to God. So that's how we want our lives to be, standing strong and firm. And whatever comes along our way, it's not going to knock us over and, and let us fall flat on our face. And when we do, when our life is in the Lord, when something comes into our lives, and when we have the Lord in our, in our hearts, in our lives, we can stand back up and stand strong and firm. So our next song we're going to sing is Heavenly Sunshine. Heavenly sunshine, heavenly sunshine, hallelujah, Jesus is mine. Heavenly sunshine, heavenly sunshine, hallelujah, Jesus is mine. And is Jesus yours? Did you invite Jesus into your heart and into your life? Because when you do, that sunshine shines bright in your life and you have the joy of the Lord on your face because it comes up from within your heart. The joy of the Lord comes from in your heart when Jesus is in there. And you can share that, that love with all those around you. And the last song we're going to sing is I Am a Christian. I'm a C-H-R-I-S-T-I-A-N. And this is another one of those songs that I, that I enjoy singing. I am a C, I am a C-H, I am a C-H-R-I-S-T-I-A-N. And I have C-H-R-I-S-T in my H-E-A-R-T and I will L-I-V-E-E-T-E-R-N-A-L-O-Y. I am a C, I am a C-H, I am a C-H-R-I-S-T-I-A-N. And I have C-H-R-I-S-T in my H-E-R-T and I will L-I-V-E-E-T-E-R-N-A-L-O-Y. I am a C, I am a C-H, I am a C-H-R-I-S-T-I-A-N. And I have C-H-R-I-S-T in my H-E-R-T and I will L-I-V-E-E-T-E-R-N-A-L-O-Y. I think that's fun. That's a fun song to sing. So we will get into our story. And our story today is from the new book that we started to read, 
the Bible Stories Treasury. And the story is about God filling the world. And what does God fill the world with before people came? God filled the world with all different kinds of animals. Every kind of animal, every kind of insect or bird or things that fly in the sky or walk on the walk on the land or dig holes in the ground, swim in the sea, every one of those animals are animals that God made. Anything that crawls or wiggles or squirms or flies or swims, all those animals God made. And they made he made them for a purpose in this world. And one of those purposes is for us to enjoy. So here's our story today. Thank you, Father God, for all the different birds and animals and for all the sounds that they make. Every animal has a different sound. Did you know that? And there are some animals that can make the sound of another animal just by repeating by what they say. God said, I will make grass and flowers and trees to cover the earth. You know what? God needed to make those grass and flowers and trees and all the vegetation on the earth before the animals came along, otherwise the animals wouldn't have anything to eat, would they? So God had a purpose in the in what he made first and what he made second, and we couldn't have had the animals on this land because they wouldn't have had no grass to eat and no food if the grass and the trees and the flowers and all the vegetation didn't come first. So God made that first, and he made all kinds of vegetation, didn't he? There's so many different kinds of grasses and there are so many different, just think of the food that you grow in your garden or the different kinds of food that grow in the world, the different kinds of fruits that we get from all over the world. Because sometimes where it depends upon where you live, you can't even grow those kinds of foods in, in your part of the world because it takes a certain kind of soil or a certain uh, time of growing where it needs warmer weather, where, where other places don't have the weather to grow those fruits that take a long, long growing season. So God knew what he was doing when he created this world and he created the, the animals. And when he created the, the, the grass and the land all over the place, he knew what needed to come first and what needed to come second. And God is just so wise and so wonderful, isn't he? So we just thank the Lord for all that he has made and the animals, think about the noises that those animals make and it's so fun and interesting to hear them. Even the animals that we have around where I live, they, they are different kinds of animals that can't live in cold areas or different animals that just love the cold, like different kinds of polar bears. They wouldn't make it very long here in the warmer weather, but they like the cold, cold weather and there's some animals that can't take it in a they would die in the cold weather, so that's why they live in the warmer places in the world. So that's how God made animals, for different animals to live in different places, and those different animals have different sounds for different reasons. And they're just so fun to listen to the different sounds that those animals make. God made all kinds of creatures after he made the grasses and the trees and the flowers. He made fish to swim in the rivers and in the seas and all kinds of fish. There are millions of different kinds of fish, big ones and little ones and tiny, tiny, tiny ones and humongous ones like the big whales and the sharks. So he made fish to swim in the seas and he made birds and butterflies to fill the air. And there are hundreds of thousand different kinds of birds that, that fly in the, in the sky that fill the air and many different kinds of insects even and butterflies that fly around. So God made all of them for a purpose. They fill the air and the animals, big and small, to play on the land. So they run all over the place. If, if animals aren't running on the land, they're, they're swimming in the sea or flying in the sky. So we say animals all around, no matter where we're at, there's all kinds of different animals that God made. And he made them for us, our enjoyment also. And God is so good to us. What sorts of big and small animals live near you? And that's why our little game today, we're going to name different kinds of animals that live in this world that we can think of. So I wrote a bunch down. 
And so we'll go along. And what kind of animals start with a letter A? Can you name, name three animals that start with a letter A? Then the ones that I came up with are anteaters, ants, and antelope. And think of some that you can think of. Just think of the, of the top names, and you can keep on naming them to whoever is sitting with you, your mom or dad or grandpa or grandma. Just name some letters, name some animals that start with the letter A. How about the letter B? What animals can you think of that come to the top of your head with the, with the letter B? Bear, bumblebee, buffalo. Those are some of mine that I thought of, and bunny even. And the letter C, what names can you think of, of animals that start with the letter C? Cat, caterpillar, and a crow is what I thought of, and I wrote these down ahead of time. How about the letter D? What animals start with the letter D that you can think of? Dog and donkey, deer, dinosaur. Dinosaurs lived on this world many, many years ago. How about the letter E? What animals can start with the letter E? These are all animals that God made and he gave, gave them to us to enjoy. And some of these animals we never ever see in real life. Some of them we can see when we go at the zoo. Some of them we just see on TV programs. The letter E, elephant, eel, eagle, elk. Those are, le those are words. My letters, are my animals that I came up with the letter E. F, fish, fox. Flamingo, G, I came up with gorilla and gerbil and goat. And I love little goats, they're so, so cute and fun to play with. How about the letter H? What can you think of the animals that you can think of that start with the letter H? Hippo, hamster and horse. Horses are fun to ride. And I, can you think of any animals that start with the letter I? Iguana and inchworm. I can't come up with anything different than that. And J, jaguar, jellyfish, jackrabbit. K, the only one I could think of for K was kangaroo. Can you think of something else that starts with a K? I'm sure there's other animals or creatures out there that start with the letter K, but they just wouldn't come to my mind. How about the letter L? What animals did God make that start with the letter L? Lion and leopard and lizard. An M, monkey, mice, and moose. And moose is one of my favorite animals just because they're so big and they're just, I think they're so beautiful. How about N, what comes to your mind when you, what animals come to mind with the letter N? I think there's northern owl, I'm not exactly sure, or nighthawk, and those are the only words that I could come up with, only animals that I could come up with with the letters N. How about the letter O, octopus, an owl, and a possum? And P, penguin, pig, and parakeet, and porcupine. And the letter Q, the only thing I could come up for the letter Q is quail. Is there something else that you can think of, that's some other animal that you can think of that starts with the letter Q? R, rattlesnake, and rat, and rabbit. S, of course, there's always a snake, that silly little snake. Spiders, yucky spiders, I don't like spiders neither. And a seal, seals aren't too bad. We don't ever see them where we live, do we? Unless you live out by the sea. T, I came up with turtle and toads and a tiger. I'm sure that you can think of others that start with a T. U, I could not think of anything except unicorn and unicorn is not a real animal. So that's not, that, that, doesn't, that doesn't really count because there's no real unicorns. V. Vulture and vampire rat bat. W, worm and walrus and wolf and whale. X, X, I can't think of anything that starts with any animal that starts with the letter X. Y, yak and the yellow jacket bee. I think it's a, I think it's a bumblebee, yellow jacket bumblebee, maybe? How about the letter Z? The only one I could think of was zebra. And I'm sure there's many, many, many other names that you can think of that start with the, elf, the first letter of the, or the alphabet, that you can go through the alphabet and name a um, lot more animals that God made on this earth. And it's just so fun to come up with, uh, when you sit there and think about the, all the different animals God makes. And these are just a few of them. There's millions and millions of different kinds of animals, different names of animals. There might be a bird, but there's several kinds of birds. Um, sparrows and robins and owls and 
eagles and vultures, all kinds of different kinds of birds that you can think of for na the kind the kinds of different kinds that there are. And the same with the fish in the sea. There are many, many different kinds of fish in the sea and different kinds of animals and different kinds of insects that fly in the sky and walk on the ground and live in burrows and holes all over the place. So God is wonderful because each of these animals are very, very interesting and they each have a different noise that they make and they live in different parts of the world. But God is so good to share these with us. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the story today and going through the alphabet and naming the animals that started with each letter of the alphabet. And so thank you so much for joining me. God loves you, Jesus loves you, and I love you. And we'll have another day of Children's Church tomorrow. And remember to share with your brothers and sisters and cousins and neighbors and everybody needs to know the love of Jesus. So thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful rest of your day.